Hi, this is Eric Lyons, and this is a tutorial on how to use FeatList, Koji's application for managing lists of genomic features. You can get to this tool using a variety of other applications within Koji, and this tool allows you to manage and go through lists of genomic features such as genes or protein coding regions or whatnot. This is not a tool that you can directly get to um, from the home page, instead you have to use one of Koji's other applications in order to extract some subset of features that are interesting. Uh, in this case, I've extracted 100 features from E. coli's genome, and we have a whole bunch that are protein coding features. We've got the chromosome from which they were extracted, a whole bunch of genes, pseudogenes, ribosomal RNAs, a repeat region, and several tRNAs. This tool um, allows you to select the specific kinds of information you may be interested in seeing, and since these are all from the same organism, I'm going to hide the organism column and um, in order to make this list a little more manageable and easy to read. Uh, this tool allows you to get additional information about one of these features. So in this case, if I wanted to get the annotation for it, I click on the Get Annotation and get it. Um, and it can also let you sort these, uh, these lists of features using any one of these column headers. So if I wanted to sort by type, I can just select Type. And I can sort by that. I can also sort by the names or the start position within the genome. If I want to do multiple sorts, for example, if I first wanted to sort by type and then sort by start, I select type and then I hold shift and click on start and I can do a secondary sort on that, um, as well as a whole bunch of other things. So in this case, I'm not really interested, say, in all of these features. I'm just interested in the protein coding features. So there's these check boxes that I can use to select individual features that I'm interested in, or there's a whole bunch of options at the very bottom of the list, such as check all features of type CDS. So once I've selected that, all the CDS features have been selected, as you can see up here at the top, and then I can send those to a whole bunch of other tools, including back to feet list again. So I'm going to regenerate this list just looking at the protein coding regions. So here's now a list that has only 35 features. They're all of type CDS, which is protein coding. I'm not interested in looking at the annotations, but I am interested in the total GC content, the GC content of the wobble position of the codon, as well as something else, the other, which is the codon usage of these proteins. So here I have a way to get additional information. If I want to get it, I can click the individual things I'm interested in or just the get all list and this will go through and calculate the GC content. So I can see that I have an overall GC content that varies from about 57% down to about 40% and a wobble GC content that starts at about 67% and decreases down to 35%. Um, if I wanted to generate the code on usage tables, all I need to do is just say get all code on usage tables, and this will now go out to the Koji system and start generating these for each one of these protein coding regions. And I'll get a, uh, a usage chart of all the codons, as well as the predicted amino acids for which they code. And then I can go ahead and sort these, and for example, if I'm interested in how high GC and low GC wobble, um, high GC and low GC proteins use these codons, I can take a look at the lowest um, GC content, and I can see that it doesn't use much of these prolines per se. And if I take a look at the, the highest, I can see that all the prolines are maybe concentrated on one. Um, I'm going to now hide those as well as the wobble GC content. Um, and if I was interested in the annotations, I could select those and just say, go get me all the annotations. And the system will go out to the database and grab all the annotations for each one of these features. Um, I'm going to hide those for the time being. And then what I can do is I can go ahead and send these over to a variety of different Koji tools. So if I was interested in searching another genome with all of these features, I could send them over to Koji Blast, which is Koji's uh, tool that lets you search any genome within the system. I could send them over to Jivo for doing uh, genomic analysis. I could align the sequences. If I wanted to get just the FASTA sequences, I can send it over to FASTA View which is Koji's tool for viewing FASTA sequences, and I can get all of these sequences in FASTA format. This is also a nice tool because it lets me uh, reverse complement or grab the protein coding sequences for them as well. Um, there's also a way that I can export them to Excel, 
generate a new feature list, and um, visualize where they fall um, within their respective genomes. In this case, these were all extracted from the same region of the same genome. And so with that, I would like to conclude this tutorial on how to use feet list inside of Koji and encourage you to take a look at some of the other tutorials within the Koji system. Thank you.